the most important stuff about this, the arc, the word arc is headed in the show, was only covered in the first part in the ending. Like, everything else almost felt like kind of a filler. Like, not really a filler, but kind of a delay, but also kind of like a a test for the spin-off show that they're try they're going to be doing like they're like testing things out this is probably why it, I don't know like I know it's about to get heavier like there's going to be a big big showdown later uh, in the near future but this episode um all I wanted was in the like get closer to the Harrison Wells reverse flash arc and even the thing with Eddie I liked as well um, well, actually, I really hate the part with Iris being involved with this. this uh, nah, but I like Eddie being on board, but um, I'm not feeling the thing with Iris's. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, the main point is um, this was an okay episode. Okay. I think mainly because I'm not feeling like... I think once they start going into the less of like this Iron Man feel... Um, and into an actual Blue Beetle, <laughs> I was going to say, into the Ant-Man uh, feel. Or who knows, whatever. But I like the science behind... <sighs> someone someone told me the original story was supposed... The original character was supposed to be the Blue Beetle, um, Ted Kord. That's, so, which kind of makes a little more sense. Like, the way it's written, it feels like, you know, because Ted Kord... Ted Cord was a um, billionaire or something, so this I understand. But um, anyways, the main point is, uh, um, it um, I like uh, I like Brandon R Roth, and I like when he was playing Ray Palmer, the billionaire, so to speak. Um, but as soon as they started really bringing in this like Adam Iron Man type of pseudo thing. It's been bothering me a bit. Like, it's really hard for me to, like, uh, get into the character. But I do like all the science behind it and, um, or, or, like, the technological part of it. So I think when they start, yeah, when he basically starts getting smaller, maybe I'll enjoy the character a little bit more. Or I really don't know. I don't I don't know about that one. That, that part itself. Um, anything else notable? Not yeah, Iris. Nope. I don't understand why all the hot girls on CW are like fucking cunts half the time. Like ugh. Laurel, same deal. Ugh, yeah, Felicity has had her moments. Anyways, that's about it, guys. Um, I don't even. I'm now. I'm starting to debate if I should even e edit the reactions to what I saw. Maybe it'll just be a delay. Yeah, we'll see. Anyways, till the Batman vs. Superman trailer comes out, I'll keep my reactions honest. Peace. <laughs>